This is the brand new We Create Vista. It's a compact 10 watt diode laser. It is great for desktop crafting and it's going to help you bring all those ideas you have in your head to life. It is super easy to use, budget friendly, and it has some features that other lasers on the market do not have. Let's take a look at this brand new laser. Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel. So if you are thinking about adding a laser to your craft room, or if you already have one, I probably have some tutorials and reviews that you're going to find helpful. Consider subscribing and take a look at all the videos that I have available for you. This is the We Create Vista. It is the second iteration of a laser from the company We Create. They originally made the Vision, and I have a bunch of videos on the Vision. You can find it down in the description. What I liked about the Vision is that it was very innovative, user-friendly, and it had features that other lasers didn't have. The Vista is the same way. Very user-friendly, so easy to use, and there's features on this thing that you can't find anywhere else. So We Create has delivered yet again. This is a 10 watt diode laser. So the niche that it fits is the person looking to do all kinds of different laser crafts, but maybe not at a large scale business type level. This is excellent for hobbies, crafters, and very small businesses. This is gonna allow you to engrave and cut all kinds of projects. And before we go any further, I do wanna make you aware that this is a diode laser. It is so important to understand what a diode laser can do before you invest in any machine. I do have a video down in the description that compares a couple different popular lasers if you wanna go more in depth in this. But here's an overview. A diode laser can cut and engrave wood. It's gonna be able to do all kinds of wood crafts. You can also engrave on stone, on ceramic, on leather. You can cut leather, you can cut and engrave all different thicknesses of paper and cardboard, and you can work with metal as well. What trips people up sometimes is working with acrylic. So a diode laser like this and every other diode on the market can cut and engrave dark colored, opaque cast acrylic. So when you're looking at the description of the materials, it needs to be cast, opaque and a dark color. You cannot do anything with clear acrylic or glitter or patterned acrylic. So if you are fine with that, this is going to be a great machine for you. If you really want to work with acrylics of all kinds, you're going to want to opt for a CO2 laser. When I got the Vista, I opened it up and this machine is almost all pre-assembled. The whole setup was really easy to do from taking it out of the box and the instructions that came with it to the videos that we create puts out that allow you to set it up. It is just really easy. Let's take a look at some of the specs here. This measures roughly 25 by 19 by six and a half inches. The working area on the inside is about 16 by 11 and a half inches. The max working speed is about 600 millimeters per second, but that speed is going to depend on the job you're doing and your power and speed settings. You can connect the Vista to your computer with Wi-Fi or USB. You can also use, in addition to a computer, you can use a tablet or a phone to run their software. We Create has a software called Make It, but this Vista is also going to work with Lightburn. I do like that no matter what package you buy with this, Air Assist is going to come with every machine. And Air Assist is definitely something you want when you are cutting projects. Another fun little feature is this comes in two colors. It's a beautiful blue color or the white one that I have. There is a vent hose that connects to the back of this and I have a window right here. I can vent it directly out the window or you can connect it to a fume extractor and then vent that out the window. I have mine set up on a workbench. This is a workbench from Beaver. I have two of these. They are on wheels, they are height adjustable, they hold a lot of weight, and they even have power outlets on one side of them. I love these for lasers. What I like about the Vista is it has a nice small compact footprint, but I have enough room to put my laptop next to it or move my laptop and have a working space to assemble and work with projects. I mentioned at the beginning, the Vista has some features that other diode lasers of this size 
or actually anywhere on the market you just can't find. So let's talk about those. The Vista comes with a camera. A camera is a great feature because it will take a picture of the material when you put it into the machine. It shows up in your software and you can easily place your design. Some cameras on some lasers will distort the image and they won't be very accurate. The Vista has an overhang camera. So you actually place the material in the machine and with the lid still open, it takes a picture of the material and then it auto measures the thickness. Once you have that done, then you close the lid and it is so precise. I have done a lot of tests where then I've placed all the different images and I've placed them on scrap wood because you want to get really precise there and it has come out so good. So I'm loving the camera and the auto measure feature on the Vista. A couple other features that I really like, the Vista, just like its big sister, the Vision, has a removable crumb tray. This is a really big deal because every time you cut a project, you're going to get little scraps down in the bottom. To be able to pull this crumb tray out like a drawer and just empty it in the garbage and wipe it down is so, so nice. The other option would be having to wipe it down by hand on the inside. This is a great feature. It also has some removable slat panels, making everything really accessible. And this is the coolest part about this machine. I have mentioned that this is a compact laser. Even though it is only about six and a half inches tall here, you can engrave a tumbler inside of this without a riser. And that is something that no other laser can do. That function is available because the laser head is flippable. It is so cool. I was a little skeptic when I heard about it, but then when I tried it for myself, I'm loving this. There are just a few screws that you um, loosen, flip it, and tighten those screws again. And then you can put the rotary tool into the machine and your tumbler attaches and you engrave just like that. The Make It software even has a 3D preview for your projects. There are a small set of risers that you can put on here if you wanna do really thick or large items. Um, but to do most tumblers, you don't need that. You can do it right inside here. I do have a full in-depth video coming up on the rotary tool and exactly how to do that with some design tutorials in there too. So keep an eye out for that. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll get a notification when that video goes live. One of my fears about having the flippable laser was that, oh no, the laser's gonna be sideways. What if, what if I look at it? And WeCreate has really covered all the bases here. This is an incredibly safe machine. So you have the orange glass up here that is protecting your eyes. But then when the laser flips, it points backwards and there is a little screen over the top. So you really can't, you can't look at the laser if you tried. So it is an incredibly safe machine. And even when you're engraving with the rotary, it is still fully enclosed. Couple other safety features, it does have some auto shutoff functions and it also has some fire safety features on the inside. All of those things combined make this a great laser to use in your home. So let's make a couple of projects. I have the Make It software open on my computer. I've uploaded a design. Now I'm going to place this piece of cast acrylic. It has a masking over the top right on the base plate and the camera is gonna take a picture. So I just need to click auto measure on the Make It software and then I can refresh and a picture will upload. Now it's safe to close the lid and I can continue placing my design. I'm able to move the design exactly where I want it and I've already selected the right type of acrylic material. Then I hit start, go over to the machine, push the button and let the Vista do its thing. This cake topper is cut from three millimeter cast acrylic. I have a power of 100, a speed of three, and two passes, and it took about 14 minutes to complete. I just pull off the masking and then this is ready to use. This slate coaster was engraved in about four minutes using a power of 100, a speed of 450, and it's just such a beautiful design. I love how engraving looks on stone. I made a three layered wood ornament and I was able to use scrap wood because the camera is so precise I could put all the pieces in the places where I needed to use up the wood. 
This is one of those places where having air assist is really, really helpful. When you are cutting wood, you want to avoid char, and you're going to do that with air assist and good ventilation. I was able to cut out all three layers in about nine minutes. I used a power of 100, a speed of 10, and two passes. The Vista also has a second laser module that you can get and install. It is a two watt IR module. I have done some videos before on the difference between a diode and an IR if you want to take a look at those in the description. Essentially, this wavelength of laser allows you to engrave really, really fine detail on plastic and metal, specifically on raw metal. So if I were to put a piece of gold in here and try to engrave it with a diode laser, nothing's going to happen. A diode works really well on coated metal or like anodized aluminum. The IR module can engrave raw precious metals and you can get some really cool detail on it. I always get a little nervous when a company says you can switch out the laser module because sometimes it's a lot harder than it looks. Again, pleasantly surprised this was easy to do. I took my time the first time, but the second and third time that I switched them out, so easy. The laser flips, leaving you access to all the screws. You take them out, you unplug it, you put the new module in, put the screws back in, plug it in, and go for it. The IR module is an add-on to the package, so if you want to do fine detail on raw metals and plastics, it's a great add-on to this machine. Let's talk about software for just a minute. WeCreate has a proprietary software called Make It. It has gone through a lot of iterations since WeCreate launched their vision, and I was just able to download the newest 2.0 version. This will be available at the end of September for the public, but I have found this version is really easy to use. Some of the bugs you may have seen earlier have been worked out, and I have been able to design with precision and make some beautiful projects with my Vista. The Vista does support Lightburn as well, so if you are a more advanced laser user and you want to use Lightburn, you absolutely can. So let's talk about price. I have mentioned that this is a compact, easy to use laser that is great for beginners. I've also said that it's budget friendly and it really, really is. This laser as it is with the air assist, which is hidden over there, and the rotary attachment that is inside of it all comes together as a package. The regular price is $16.99. But we create, of course, is going to run some phenomenal deals. So take a look at the links down in the description to get all of the details on their current offerings. There is an amazing pre-sale deal on the Vista. So if you have listened and heard what I've said and you think this is the laser for you, you're going to want to take advantage of this. From September 18th through October 14th, you're going to have the opportunity to put down a $20 deposit. After that time frame, you are going to be able to purchase the Vista at up to a $1,400 discount. If you end up putting down that deposit and then you decide not to buy, that $20 is fully refundable after October 22nd. So let's break down the pricing a little bit. The package that I have here, so the Vista with the Air Assist and the Rotary Attachment is normally $1,699. During the presale, you can get all of this for $7.99. $7.99. That is unheard of. That is a phenomenal deal for everything you can get right here. And all you have to do is put down that $20 deposit and you have the opportunity to buy it for $7.99. There are also discounts on the additional IR module or the fume extractor if you want to add those in as well. There's a link to shop down in the description. Read through that, click that link, and take advantage of this presale offer. So who do I think this machine is for? I think this is an excellent starter laser for a crafter or a hobbyist or a very small business owner. This is compact. You can do everything in one. So the ability to make tumblers in such a small machine is amazing. You can put this in your craft room, vent it out a window, and you're going to be able to work at a very small footprint. 
I am really enjoying crafting with my new We Create Vista and I do have more videos to come. So we are going to do a detailed video on the rotary tool and how that works because who doesn't love to make customized tumblers? I'm also going to do some software videos to walk you through the new Make It software once that launches publicly. And then I'll probably do some comparison videos because there are a lot of 10 watt diode lasers on the market. And so it can be difficult to figure out which one is going to be right for you. So if you want to see those videos, hit that subscribe button so you get a notification when they post. If you have any other questions about this laser, drop it down in the comments. I'd love to chat with you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.